The next key item you should keep an eye on here is time zone. Because here in this example, we move from 12 to a one to 19 C. And I can easily unplug my PDB and plug it in and upgrade it. You see that both homes have different time zone settings. The source has time zone 26, while the destination is time zone 32. And even if you created the CDB correctly with the right compatible setting, you can't go backwards now. Why not? Because time zone can't be reverted or downgraded. What do we do normally in this case? When we realize this, it's not too late. You don't have to start from the beginning, but you need to patch your source home. It needs to get the same time zone patch your target is on already. In this case, this would be time zone 32. So you go to this MOS node and it's a very long MOS node and you have to scroll down for six minutes until you get to section H. And in this section, you find the links to the time zone patches. Then you download the time zone patch, the matching one here, apply it to your home. Unfortunately, time zone patches are non-rolling. Yes, that's a matter of fact, but at least you can apply them online. That works if you need to. And once you've done that, now we can upgrade as we could before, but we could also go backwards because now we have the matching time zone patches available. Always check in such cases, time zone file version of the source and compare to v.time zone version, time zone underscore file in the destination. 11.204 came with time zone 14, 12.102 with time zone 18, 12.201 as I explained with time zone 26, 18 with time zone 31, 19 with time zone 32, and 21C has by default time zone 35. And believe it or not, this is the biggest roadblock I learned when you migrate between two cloud environments, because in some cases, the matching time zone patch is not available. So you need to download it and then apply it by yourself to make this move really, really work. When you apply time zone patches, it will add files to Oracle Home or a core zone info. The time zone patches are never part of an RU or a patch bundle because they are non-rolling. Uh, still, you can apply them online, but you have to do this then manually by yourself. Uh, time zone patches are not patch bundle agnostic. That means you always download the time zone patch, which for instance, has the patch number 19000 or 18000 or 12201. Not a time zone patch on top of an RU like 19.8. One time zone patch for 19C fits all the 19C release updates. In case you find some artifacts still on MOS with a specific time zone patch for 19.7.0 or something like that, ignore that. Take always the one which is applicable to all our use, like 19.0.0.0. And once you applied it, it's not the end of the story, unfortunately, you need also to run the time zone adjustment scripts, which is two pieces. First, the check script and second, the apply script. And unfortunately, the apply script will restart your database twice, actually, because first for a change in a dictionary in upgrade mode, and then afterwards for a potential adjustment to your time zone data in your database. Auto upgrade can do this time zone adjustment by default and does it by default unless you override it. So unless you don't add this time zone UPG equals no into your config file, then auto upgrade will always do by default a time zone adjustment. <laughs> 